Republican Peter Meyer will replace Justin Amash in Congress. Meyer beat Democratic challenger Hillary Skolton by six percentage points. New at noon, News 8's Justin Kolar talked with Meyer about the victory. Justin? Yeah, Tom, Meyer was happy and he made sure to thank the clerks and election staff who made sure each ballot in his future district was counted. He stepped away from partisan politics just for a moment and offered to represent Michiganders how Jerry Ford would have 50 years ago. He talked about the COVID-19 pandemic, protecting the Great Lakes, affordable health care, the, the, the climate crisis, and national security. But when it came to the current situation nationally, as far as the presidential election is concerned, and the comments President Trump made on Twitter this morning to, quote, stop the count, Meyer had little to say, but made sure to distance himself from the president's remarks. Incredibly important that all Americans have faith in, in the electoral system. Um, so. You know, I don't want to comment too much on things that are developing. Um, hopefully we'll see a bit more progress there soon. Um, I think it's most important that every vote is counted and, and counted accurately as well. So um, if that means having to exercise some patience, so be it. Now, Emily and Tom will likely have to wait even longer, though we do know which presidential candidate won our state. We do have those delays continuing in Wayne County. And of course, we have Heather and Nick Ponton in Detroit, and we'll update you on their situation there throughout the day, both on air and online at woodtv.com. In the newsroom, Justin Kolar, News 8. Okay, Justin, thank you.